I think we're going to have a pretty nice night out there as we end up with temperatures down around 77. Southeast wind 10 to 15, probably down 5 to 10, closer to dawn. And tomorrow we'll start out mostly clear and end up mostly clear. Temperatures pushing on through the mid uh, 90s by noon and then 98. That's our valley average top out temperature tomorrow afternoon. So upper valley, yeah, you'll be doing 100. A heat index about 108 degrees. So be careful if you're going to be working outside tomorrow. Sustained winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. That's nothing too spectacular. Gusting to around 25. It'll keep old glory kicking though. That's good news. High pressure is backing up on into the Gulf of Mexico. This is what has shut down the daily dose of sea breeze showers uh, earlier in the forecast. So we got to say, okay, we'll shut down the showers for a little while while this high starts to take control, killing the clouds and eliminating any chance for rain. So the chance for rain, what about it? Well, as that high pressure dominates, we stay with zero until we get to next week. Crawling back in through 20 to 30 percent opportunity for showers Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's nothing too dramatic, but it will be there more than likely in the sea breeze form where that cool curtain of air blows in off the Gulf in the afternoon and we we'll kick up some showers and thunder showers. Now, again, I said be careful if you're going to be working outside this weekend, and indeed, we've got high temperatures, 98, 96, but the humidity making it feel more like anywhere from 106 to 110. And, of course, you know, these temperatures are normal. You know, 95, 96, that's what we should be doing this time of year. But we have to remind ourselves to drink lots of water out there if we're going to be barbecuing or mowing the yard. Or maybe you've got some cleanup from Hannah still yet to do. So, again, that's worth noting. Mostly clear skies throughout the weekend. Tropical update. Okay, lots going on here. More than just meets the eye. You've got Tropical Storm Josephine. That's way out there in the South Atlantic. That's going to continue to make its way west-northwest. That's Bermuda, that little speck there. It looks like it's probably probably going to miss the coastal U.S. or any of the islands, so that's good news, at least at this point. We'll update you if that changes, but it's just another note that the season is getting a little bit more aggressive, and we're expecting that to continue for a very good reason. Well, a whole bunch of reasons, but one good reason is La Nina is expected to come back. A 60% chance that La Nina is going to come back into play. You know, you hear El Nino all the time, where the warm water sloshes up to Mexico and Central America and provides a bad environment for hurricanes. It just rips them apart. Well, with this one, with La Nina, that warm water goes back out into the Pacific and it allows for drier than normal conditions here in the valley locally, also warmer than normal conditions here in the valley. I know you're scratching your head going, well, then what about the hurricanes? Okay, hold on. What that does is it allows that whole pathway where hurricanes develop to do so without the, those bad conditions that El Nino creates. So basically, La Nina means open season. Hurricanes can develop as they like. El Nino is the one that puts the big pathway through there that no, no hurricanes can develop. So that's what we're doing. 60% chance of going back to La Nina where hurricanes have a better chance of developing for the rest of the season. Seven-day forecast, you know, we've had ours, but you never know. you got to keep an eye on those buggers all the time. Seven-day forecast shows that chance for afternoon showers starting next week. That's a look at your forecast.